this is the Double Tree by Hilton Portland review, Lloyd Center. And when I first selected this hotel, I was looking for reviews for myself. And the first thing that pops up on YouTube, the first actually few videos that popped up on YouTube were, were videos regarding a, um, a, a guest, an African-American gentleman who was targeted by security and uh, actually escorted out by police, even though subsequently he did show his room key and, sh and demonstrated clearly that he was a guest at the hotel and initially targeted by this security guard who went up to the gentleman who was just sitting nicely in the hotel lobby and uh, asking him if he was a guest. Way, way out of bounds. And as a hotel worker myself, I can tell you that is absolutely the wrong move. Um, the sm now, the, what you, the smart move is to not target anyone based on anything, whether it's skin color, appearance, whatever it is. I mean, that seems like a no-brainer, but people people don't do that. People discriminate all the time. And you, for example, I in the various hotels that I've worked at, I have homeless people walking in, and you can pretty much tell. But you you can never be one hundred percent based on somebody's appearance whether they're homeless whether a guest at the hotel. So what you need to do, unless they're harassing people, is just leave them alone. Let them come in, let them get a cheap cup of coffee which is gonna be thrown down the drain anyway if you, if you offer uh, complimentary coffee. Let them use the restroom. That's the human thing to do. But this guy was targeting a gentleman who was, you know, dressed nicely, nice clothing, and happen to be African American. Now, after staying, which was completely out of bounds, and I think he won a large settlement, millions of dollars, which I think he deserved every single penny. But very rarely are things as cut and dry as we think when we read a news story or, or see a news story on television. So, Portland, Oregon, right? We're right across from this park over here, which. You know, I'm sure there are a lot of homeless people that frequent it. We're very close to downtown. And my feeling is, so this guy was probably told, hey, we have people walking in here all the time trying to use the restroom. Um, j just make sure that uh, you don't have homeless people and people that aren't staying here coming in here. And this guy went way, way out of bounds. Um, but there were the, ing the, all the ingredients were here to have a meltdown like this because um, this is a somewhat upscale hotel in a very busy area where there's a lot of homeless and uh, obviously that guest was not homeless nor did he even look homeless so I think there was uh, an element of racism there but even if the person you don't think the person is a guest even if you think the person is homeless or if their appearance doesn't seem to fit in with the rest of your guests this is advice for all hotel workers just leave the person alone just leave the person alone okay but anyway the service here was absolutely amazing this has been a great hotel great location right next to this max light rail so easy access from the airport easy access to downtown Great public transportation system. Great room. We'll, we'll take a look at the room, which is very spacious for a double tree and very spacious for a downtown hotel. And this is somewhat downtown, Lloyd Center. Plus all the various fires that are going on here in Oregon at this time. We had many evacuees, people bringing in their pets. We saw a caged rabbit and, and their other possessions. Um, so it's been a very interesting time. This. The, the skies are filled with smoke. But other than that, I really, really like this property and I think they're gonna do amazing things. And here is the uh, Multima, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, grill. And this was not open during the duration of this day and I don't know if it's open normally during non-COVID-19 times.
but it wasn't open. But this amazing coffee area is, of course, very busy. You can see the line here. They have a fitness center here, but because of these COVID-19 times, it was by appointment only. Kind of difficult to make an appointment. You've got to go down to the front desk. You've got to coordinate with the housekeeping manager. And, you know, oftentimes, like the first two days that we were here, it, 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 it had been selected. So I wasn't able to, to use it until the third day. And uh, you, you, know, you have it all to yourself, it's great. You've got state-of-the-art equipment in there, pre-core ellipticals, things of that nature. Um, but it, it was difficult again, I'm not gonna lie. And of course, all around this double tree, you have amazing views, unfortunately, smoke-filled views at this point, given the various wildfires in Oregon at the time. Immaculate long hallways really a great facility as you can see the room has a microwave and that's right a refrigerator how about that the room has an ironing board and yes that even comes with an iron how about that again as a hotel worker i can tell you you have to be safe it, i really don't recommend living leaving anything of extreme value in the room alone while you're gone even though no one else has one of your room keys, every staff member has a master key that will get into, not every staff member, but most staff members have a master key that will get into any room. And this room has a safe, so that's, that's key. There you have your ice bucket and your coffee maker. Our coffee maker was broken though. We've got to let, let that front desk know. The coffee maker was broken. Assortment of different coffees, sensational. Okay, what else, what else? Spacious, sorry about the condition of the room, but I wanted to give you a true review, a true review after we had actually spent some time in the room, in the hotel. Sensational views, sensational views. Now this is the odd side, can you remember that? The odd side, we'll have views. Normally when we first got here, we you could see downtown. I'll, I'll put on a video that shows downtown. Absolutely amazing. And the hills behind it. In the distance there you can see, maybe see the Moda Center where the Trailblazers play. Just a beautiful city. You should visit here if you get a chance. Really the nicest city that I've ever been to that isn't right on the coast. Because remember, Portland, slightly inland. What is it, the Mil Willamita River? I can't remember the name of the river. Willamita or something, or maybe it's the other one flows into the other one and then eventually flows into the Pacific but you've got to drive for a little bit what is it 45 minutes to an hour to actually get to the Pacific great city I really enjoyed this desk area very spacious right here is water for sale great water for sale see that wow couldn't afford that nice couch Coffee table, a lot of space in this room, especially for a double tree.